another video another video either when you're starting your video or you're starting your youtube channel and you feel like you need to have new fancy camera equipment you know well today i'm gonna talk to you through what i have what i own and what you actually need when it comes to starting your youtube channel journey because you don't need all of that at the beginning i'm telling you you just need you to believe in yourself you know so but if you want to know more of course keep on watching because it's gonna be right after my channel salut les amis bienvenue bon retour sur ma chaîne hola bienvenue de la ami canal konnichiwa watashino channel ni yakusu i hope you're doing fine today this is another day another week and another video of me i need to say whenever i have people wanting to start a youtube channel wanting to start me on videos they always need to have that uh, fancy equipment checklist this video is for you to definitely take inspiration to definitely get some ideas and if you have the budget for it, yes. I'm gonna take you through my whole journey. What was my quality back then and what is my quality now? And what is the quality that actually got to have 33k views with less than 100 subscribers? first camera that I haven't started with was this <laughs> going back in the past way too much for my own sake Nikon 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 guess it's Nikon in French but whatever you got the idea it was seven eight years ago and this is how I started filming my videos again it was because I already had it but if you don't have any camera any equipment you can start with your own iphone i mean literally smaller computers and stuff because you can do a lot of things with them you don't need to buy yourself a fancy 2000 5000 10k type of camera for you to start your youtube channel because i call it making excuses of starting that instead of just doing it because you really want to do it when i got pretty convinced that being on youtube is something that i truly truly enjoy i decided to invest a little bit more and therefore i something that is equivalent to craigslist but it's in canada it's kgg used on you major major deals because it's from people that actually use it before or just want to get rid of it for any type of reason whatsoever and my second camera the camera that i used after it was a canon t3i this little beautiful well not so little because it's actually pretty heavy i was being really serious with you there and i got a used one so it didn't cost me much and it was in pretty 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 great quality and the guy actually gave me the camera back along with it and a couple of other equipment so i was pretty pretty happy it was a major major great deal so i could afford it at that price so for those last four years this is the camera that I've been using. I found it tricky to learn how to use any DSLR videos onto how you can make any type of uh, video being really cinematic, really getting with the vibe, conveying a message because I'm really big into the visual, I'm really big into creating a vibe based on uh, any type of look you want to give to your videos because it's a part of your branding. So I was like, I got to buy it by myself, I got to enjoy it and now it was for me time to move on. I'm using a Canon M50 and the feedback, the opinions, the reviews, I love the quality and I love the size and after having my Canon T3i, I really really was looking for something a little bit smaller and not so much heavy because I find it easy to have something smaller and I do all of that by myself. It's just so solo youtuber and you don't have anybody to help you out with it i mean get to have something that makes it easy for you and for your life to carry it around whenever you want to take pictures outside as far as the lighting goes i'm using the newer upgraded ring light kit which is ultra slim so it's great great uh, amazing you got a bit of a uh, colder light and a bit of a warmer light so as far as my skin done 
don't have a grayish type of look I have a warmer undertone if you don't have any of that natural sunlight is gonna be amazing beautiful I getting you a really really soft and beautiful look nice glow to your face hello people as you can see here I have all the natural light I have nothing else and as you can see the quality is pretty great don't mind the background obviously but uh, as you can see as long as you stay close to a window and you really be being careful with everything that is in the background it's gonna be fine so it's pretty much it and I love the lighting there behind oh that's cute all the equipment they're gonna be on below I got all my equipment from Amazon I'm invested in that and invested in this Canon camera at the beginning of this year so it wasn't until let's say seven of eight years into my YouTube journey that I decided to invest in all of those equipment if that takes time for you to have a budget for all of that it's definitely okay I got a phone holder as well you need to use the ring light to use for any type of insta stories or igtv or live with your phone you can still use this ring light it plays double duty here i use it a lot i use it for my facebook lives i use it for my instagram lives i use it for my own meetings clients or any potential people i would do any type of collapse with i had another light and that light actually had batteries so i always had to recharge it whenever it would die out it was draining because you don't have any replacement battery you gotta wait you have to wait and i hate it i hate it i hate it i hate it something that i can just plug in and don't worry about anything else Whew. you appreciate that even more because i went through major struggles with no light no audio a pile of books a trusty camera the struggle Audio is the first thing you want to invest your coins in because people need to hear you as clearly as possible. Great audio micro that I would suggest if you're looking for something really really cheap is the Boya Lavalier Condenser Microphone with Air Mic. One screen will show for iPhone 7 Plus or anything else. Something that you can have on your clothes and it's really tiny. The sound is amazing. What I used to use way before the one that I'm using right now. And I actually think that it was a lot better because it was literally plugged into my clothes. Now I'm using this one okay the road video micro compact on camera microphone little brother of the road mic that almost everybody has that is a little bit bigger and a lot more expensive but again quality is amazing for it and if you get to have it close to you it's gonna be even greater so that's what I decided to invest in at the beginning of this year as well and I'm happy get to a couple of other accessories pieces that you want to add but you don't have to add it at the beginning this is when you get to be better with the lighting this is when you get better with the way that you do your videos and the vibe you're gonna give to your video because I'm still exploring around I'm still really playing around it's all about learning it's all about teaching you how you can make your video look great and really feel confident about them and having that message being clear coming across and attract the right people but more so develop your branding and have your way of having that confidence into being your own person the light that i got before the ring light and this is the light that i was actually using before the ring light so newer for the studio 176 led led ultra bright dimmable uh, led light and it's really a tiny screen i use it in a way where it gets to my face but across my face so it's a great way to get to have a 3d type of dimension to your videos any lighting that you're gonna have into your setup is gonna be able to either accentuate a certain part of your face or accentuate a certain part of your studio or with vibe or just create a new vibe about your own video it's something that i recently started doing one of these led lights the way that i put it was for me to separate myself from the background create that three-dimensional effect and not getting into just the flat mode could be any type of color it could be something a little bit more warmer it could be something a lot more colorful because it's going to create and have that message 
depends what you're doing on your channel the third source of lighting is the fairy light behind me got them from amazon as well of making it a little bit more enchanting not everybody is doing it but i watched a couple of videos and i really really adored the effect and i adored the way that it was just being set up because it's different light colors it gives a different vibe and you can do a lot of things because you can fade and make jump that kind of effect i love it it's so cute you can have another type of effects or you can make them jump but more into the yeah like that okay because it, i think it's cute like that maybe jump or maybe yeah i like that I got a tool pack into it, but let's just keep it that way. Let's just keep it that way. Next round was my remote Canon M50. I find it super practical because if you solo and if you need to do everything by yourself, you need to have a remote. You need to have some type of way to not having to always have to push the button and push the button and come back and sit down. And back then, I didn't have any of that. I didn't have any remote, so I know the struggle. If you don't have the budget, again, don't worry, you can start without having to do it and find other ways. What I used to do was to just put a timer, you know, and that worked amazing for me. Phone can do it as well, because I have the application here and I can do it by myself, but sometimes it bugs and I'm not about this life. The other thing that I got was my tripod monopod and that one is, woof, helps. I had one before, but I got another one that was a lot more if I need to use for other equipment, this is great because I'm gonna use that tripod. But because I have the ring light coming with its own tripod, I can use it that way and not having to use the tripod. It's stable, it's not shaking. You have that really, really great quality and stable type of uh, mode when it comes to your videos. So I would highly suggest you to have a the this one is a tripod monopod all in one. So whenever I need to use the monopod and whenever I have somebody that can actually help me out, that's gonna be great because they can actually hold the monopod and have it in an angle that could work better depending on the videos that I'm gonna do. Great, 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 great. Extra batteries. My little LED has extra batteries. That's something that I got from the get-go because I knew the struggle of having just one battery and having to wait to recharge it was not a but something that I was still gonna do, so no. <laughs> got extra batteries for my Canon M50. Getting to have multiple videos done in one day, you don't want to have to wait. And you are ready to invest in that camera to get extra batteries at the same time. Another thing that I got was my SD memory card. I had a 32 gigabyte memory card. I got a 128 gigabyte memory card. Every time that I was doing my videos, because I was doing them multiple videos in one shot, my memory card would get full really really fast. Idea. So you need to have bigger memory cards in order for you to be able to shoot multiple videos in one day, you know? You don't want to have fun, you don't want to have like, struggle and have those, all those headaches. We talked about this life, we talked about this life, we talked about this life. I got this Gorilla 4K stand because depending on the angle, depending on what I'm gonna do because I'm not gonna carry that ring light everywhere I'm going. It can be put anywhere else and because it's this beautiful way of just like breaking and just having multiple type of position, it just makes it easy for you to put it in some really weird angles because it's still gonna give you a really great effect and works great if you're alone and you just need to put it there and you need to have that angle, you know what I mean? So I have another type of camera you want to do multiple angles at one for your videos, it's a great way to use it as well. Everything is gonna be down below so don't you worry about it, you can check them down below. I'm gonna say that as many times as I can, you don't need to have all of that at the beginning. Not having the budget for it doesn't make it you not starting a YouTube channel because of it. We're gonna do a couple of videos into my setup and how I place my light and why I do what I do and how I set up everything day when I'm shooting my videos. How I do, how I proceed it, how I script my text and how I make it really in a way where I can save up time 
even if I have to do three videos per week. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. It was something that I enjoy, enjoy, enjoy doing. Let me know down below what you liked the most about it and what you would love to see more of my YouTube setup, of my YouTube filming process and my own personality when it comes to background and my own personal style because it's all about it and it's all about inspiring you to do the same thing. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel if you haven't done it yet. If, if you enjoy that kind of video, well, my pleasure because it's gonna be a lot more. I'm gonna see you for my next video and I say it all the time. J'espère que ça a pu vous aider, j'espère que ça a pu vous plaire. Mais je le dis toujours, je le dis tout le temps. Vous n'avez pas besoin d'avoir tout un tas d'équipements pour commencer votre chaîne YouTube. N'hésitez pas à commencer votre chaîne même si vous avez juste votre téléphone pour ça. Parce que une fois que vous avez votre téléphone, le reste bah, viendra naturellement. Parce que vous allez aimer le processus, vous allez aimer l'aventure, vous allez aimer tout ce qui va venir avec. Et puis petit à petit, vous allez pouvoir avoir vos propres équipements. Donc euh, ne vous fermez pas l'idée de commencer votre chaîne juste parce que vous n'avez pas de caméra. Non. We're not doing that on this channel. We're not doing this on this channel. We're not doing that. I'm not about this life and I'm not gonna let you do it. Anyways, I'm gonna see you on my next video and until then, like I said all the time, keep smiling because it's free and contagious in a good way. Bye.